Wir gehen aus Berlin oder fahren oder fliegen oder etwas. Athena, Berliner Weißbier. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and thanks to Nick Udom of WCBS, we have all the way from Creature, the Creature Comforts Brewing Company of Athens, Georgia, Athena, a Berliner Weiss beer, or Berliner Weiss beer, but it's a Weiss, Weisse. So I, that's a Berlin style white beer, Weiss means white, so it should be a nice wheat beer, and it being Berlin style, it should be a little bit tart. Uh, it shouldn't be a lot tart, but it should be a little bit. Kind of refreshing and it even says german style tart wheat ale so there you go hmm i don't know about an ale i thought of, that was more of a lager but i could be mistaken i've never made one um so i'm gonna let uh, full disclosure i don't typically like berliner weiss beers but we'll see and i forgot to clean this part let's have chalk on it that might be gross so we're all ready to check this in on untap. Yep. Sourness right, kind of a sour and eaten It's got the right color. It's a little bit cloudy like it should be. It's very foamy like it should be. For a lot of ice beers are typically, it's enough tartness to be very refreshing usually. So, yep. It's cloudy. Most Weiss, German Weiss beers. Wow. It's got a, like a weird sourness on that note. Almost like a Band-Aid smell. Not quite that bad. Hmm. It's tart. But that's not bad at all. I like that. It finishes smooth. Finishes very mellow. It's tart on the tip, and I all your all the parts in your tongue that like bitterness are gonna come to life. But it finishes pretty clean. Hmm. Wow. It's got a tartness, but it's not, it's enough tartness to kind of make your mouth salivate. It's, um, my, my, sal my uh, saliva glands are going nuts. Wow, that is actually pretty good. It's kind of got like a peachy, like a yellowy peachy, um, is that something floating in it? Might be, or it's a, no, it's a spot on the glass, because it moves with me. Wow. Festina Pesh is one that has peaches. It's one that um, Dogfish Head keeps making, and I, I've had it multiple, they've reformatted too much. This is just enough, and I don't know if it's because it's been in a can. So gently tart, effervescent, ambrosia. Drink, crush, recycle. So uh, right there, right there. So gently tart, effervescent, and ambro I don't know, ambrosia. I don't know about that. But it is definitely refreshing. It's definitely effervescent. Um, Wow, and that is just enough tartness. So if you had this with sauerkraut and a good um, Berliner, let's see, what do they eat? Berliner Wurst is um, it's kind of a, so that's more northwestern Germany. It's probably more boiled than than smoked. Uh, this is why in, in Cincinnati the bratwursts are white um, because they're boiled, not smoked. Where I grew up in southern Germany, the bratwursts are red, are kind of a pinkish color, and then there's rotwurst, which are actually red. Or it looks like Rotwurst, R-O-T. Hmm, that is good. That actually might win me over to good Berliner Weiss beers. So what is the, um, it's 4.5%, so it's not, it's not very heavy, not, not a lot of alcohol. It has a refreshing characteristic to it. It's really making my mouth salivate. So if you had this with a nice typical German meal, especially, and I, I've only been to Berlin once in my life, and so it's been over 30 years ago. So I don't remember what the specialties in that region, because that's kind of part of Prussia too. So you've got a little, there's an influence of various cultures and some Polish and, eh, Czech Republic's a long way, but wow, that is um, quite good. I'm giving that a four and a half, which to me is pretty generous. You know, for, for me, that's pretty good. Um, I'd love to have this on draft, especially in the summertime. I mean, January here, it's, or February rather, it's a little on the, see, and I got pucker up level 23, but it's not, it's tart, but it's not sour, and it has a kind of a more of a tarty, tangy uh, relationship. 
Um, I'm trying to see if there's any fruity flavors like a peach or a um, nectarine or something. But I'm really, I almost get a hint of banana, but just, that's from the yeast, I know. Hmm. But it's, you know, it's got a decent mouthfeel. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of on the, on the mild side of mouthfeel. It finishes smooth. It probably needs to be a little warmer. It's been sitting out a while. It doesn't say on here what temperature, but. So, um, lactobacillus. So I was wondering if they use bacteria, and they do. So that's lactobacillus. That's what. That, that's the. Um, so basically, what you do is you take a wheat beer and you infect it, but it's got a mild infection, so it's infected with the right kind of bacteria to produce that soury tartness. And um, once you've done that, the entire line is infected with the bacteria. You can't really get rid of it. And so usually when you make sour beers, you, that's a completely separate line from anything else. You're not going to send a hoppy beer through that unless you want it infected because it's going to happen. Uh, it's part of why I've never done one. They do have yeasts nowadays that have the bacteria in them. And so you pitch the yeast with the bacteria uh, or you can do it separately so you can have a yeast that's got a low tolerance. You know, it doesn't, it isn't quite done. You throw the bacteria in the last bit of sugars are then fermented by the bacteria and it gives a little bit different kind of alcohol uh, twist to it and it gives it that sourness and tanginess. So this is probably pretty late, four and a half percent. It's not sweet so there aren't any really sugars that are floating around that are unfermented and since it doesn't have a huge grain bill there's not a lot for it to do and that's why it's kind of just a low tanginess. If this was say enough sugars to say to be seven and a half, eight percent and you pitched around the same time when it got to say four percent there's a lot of sugar left over. You're going to get a really sour beer that way. So anyway, that is very nice. It's got a nice peachy color. It is nice. Um, it has the right amount of, of mouth feel. Very good. There's a little bit of yeast residue. And it's, um, you know, like I said, four and a half for me for a, for a Weiss beer is pretty good. For a Berliner Weiss beer, I've had several of them. I've liked very, very few. And this is one of them that I would definitely put in the category. So if you want to kind of put your big toe into the sour tart beer uh, to kind of especially if you're not huge on sours this is actually going to be a good starter beer down that sour path uh, it's just a hint of sourness now you obviously need to have like wheat beers first if you don't like wheat beers you may not like this one uh, there are other sours out there that are mild I mean some beers really pucker the crap out of your I mean they're like you know sucking on a lemon head or something but um, but very nice. I would have this with any kind of German food, but you know, I, in particular, I would do kind of a meaty worst and, and some sauerkraut and um, nice hearty bread with good sweet butter on it. Hmm, hot ice bro or something like that. I don't know what they call those in Berlin. That's a southern German thing, but it's a nice hearty, heavy white bread. It's kind of pasty, and you put some nice sweet butter on that. That'd be really good. Onions or something. But that's definitely, and then in the hot summertime, this is probably a very, very good, refreshing summer beer. All right, I have talked long enough about this beer. Thank you so much, Nick, for giving me this can. Um, if anybody's in the area, knows, uh, been to the brewery, um, let me know. And uh, also let me know what other beers you want to see reviewed on this channel. Thank you very much, and we will see you later. Goodbye. Noises. Noises off. Oh. Oh. You know what? I did forget to do that. But...